welcome into Rock Painting 101. Uh, today we're gonna do a butterfly rock. I have had lots of requests over time and I've been playing around with the idea of how to really give it a 101 tutorial. So that's what we're going to do today. First, we're going to come up with the outline of our rock because we're gonna lay down our colors and then do the black lines on top of it. So you'll need a couple colors of acrylic paint or your paint pens for your coloring of your butterfly and really you can go any direction you want with colors. And then I have a 1M Posca pen that I'm gonna be using for the lining on this rock. I also have a pencil to put down my beginning of uh, my butterfly. So what you need to do is decide where is the center of your butterfly and you're gonna just create a quick little body and everything's gonna kind of build off of that. This can be as big or as small as you want. You can also make it bigger. We're also going to create a line that is going to basically cut that body in half. Now we're going to make our wings. Now the top wings, we're gonna pull straight from where this line crosses the body out to the side and up. And the main thing you wanna do is continuously go back and forth. Try to do both sides at the same time so that you can try to make it as even as possible. Oh, my pencil turned to the side there. I'm like shaking a little bit here. So we're working with pencil here. And when you're working on a white stone, you can have a white eraser. Don't use the pink one on the bottom of your pen. And then from there, you have this center line is gonna come pretty much straight out to the side and you're gonna create your top wing. Okay. Now the bottom actually comes down along the body and then out to the side. So I can move from the top down better. So I'll come out about to where you want it to split, out to the side, and then you're gonna come up from underneath. So try to do about the same over here, out to the side, where she came. Try to make them as even as possible. We're gonna fill this in too, so give yourself a little bit of grace. Okay, like so. We had more of a point on this side. Okay, and I think that's pretty good. If you're really going for the perfect butterfly, you can make yourself a template as well. But we're just gonna work with this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill our butterfly. Like I said, any colors really will do. I've got pink and teal here. I'm just gonna do a little dot of each on my palette. Maybe, my pink is low, huh? pink probably have another one somewhere there we go don't need a lot and teal I love pink and teal together I'm sure you guys have noticed okay and then we're just gonna take just decide I want my um, teal in the center and the pink out on the edges so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill Don't worry about seeing oops, don't worry about seeing the pencil lines through your paint because we're going to use our black paint pen over that you won't see those when it's done all right so we're going to blend in between these colors just a little bit so i'm just going to work my pink on here first right along that seam line I'm dabbing it you want to try to keep your brush the same way so i've got teal on one side, pink on the other. I'm gonna turn my rock as I work. 
Okay, let's get some tail on here. Just kind of play around with blending them here. Make it a really pretty kind of purple color. And once you've got that purple color kind of going, it's easier to blend the other one below because you've already got it on there. Okay, one more two butterfly again if you're not comfortable with the blending don't worry about the blending I'm not even worrying too much about the blending for now I just just a little bit I am gonna take my brush it's clean a little bit damp and I'm gonna come along here just to do the edge of this purple um, with the pink just kind of to soften it just a little bit This is going to be under your lining anyway, so it doesn't have to be perfect. But I just, I like softer edges when it's going into the light color. Sometimes it leaves a little bit of a harsh edge there. Oh, throwing my brush around. All right. Okay, so this has to dry completely. I'm going to add some pink out on this outer edge before we uh, work on our lines. So... Let's try. Once your acrylic paint is dry, we're going to start with our fun lining. So first of all, we're going to go along the outside, of course, here. Uh, nice crisp lines up and around and through. Same thing on this side. Nice crisp line up and around. And through. Now I've got a trick for filling in the wings. That will help, I think. Nice little one on one trick. Now, see, I, I made that one thicker. So just come back, like I said, everything you do on one side, just do it on the other. All right, so we've got our little body here to fill that in. Okay, so this next part is we're gonna be portioning out the wings. Now, the more of these you do, the more sections you can create in your wings um, with comfort. So I'm just gonna go fairly simple here. I'm going to try not to make them too complicated. Um, after you do one or two, you can make these more intricate. So the first thing I'm going to do is separate the outside edge of my wing from the inside by just creating a line this way and it attached right there. Okay. So same thing, always do both sides at the same time. Okay. And then I'm also going to create a Y shape coming from the body here out about halfway and then up and down and again and then about halfway there then up and then down and then I'm gonna section this here and here and again you can make a lot more pieces in here if you want to but you'll see how quickly that this works um, for creating a fun design we're going to do the same thing down on the bottoms scoop kind of like a little moon shape edge here and that one is a little bit thinner so we're gonna play with that a little bit when we fill and then i like to do a teardrop shape coming from the center here and then we're going to section out these just by adding two more lines. One, two, one, two. All right. So this is the trick to kind of make it look like those wings that you'll see. Now on the outside here, I'm going to do some circles. So one, two, three, four fit. 
in there. So one, two, three, four. And then on these areas, we're just gonna re-outline them by making them curved sections. So that will make sense when you see me do it, but it's hard for me to sometimes talk while I'm doing fine lines. So all the lines, we're gonna curve into the other ones. We don't want any harsh uh, perpendicular lines. So like this section here, I'm gonna do that one and then I'll pull it closer for you. So we're just gonna curve all the corners. So just curve them like that. Okay, so see how they just kind of curved each and every one of those. So then we'll do that on the section just below. Even these points, they don't look very pointed. Still want those curved. Okay, see that point there? We're gonna curve it. So here, curve it. Just like that, all the way around. Okay, and then we'll do the whole side of the wing all the way down to the bottom okay and like that now out here we're gonna fill in all but the circles and then you'll have a good example of what the wing will look like Just take your time if you do not have one of these pens you can do this with a very small liner style brushed or even, I, I know I like to do really tight spaces sometimes with um, my dotting tools or people use toothpicks. But there we go. So we have the upper part of that wing finished. My outer line here has a couple little bumps to it, so I'll smooth that out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of this butterfly, but I'll speed that portion up, but you'll see, you'll see what I'm doing still. Okay, and then once you're finished, you can kind of peek at it. If you see spaces you want to touch up, touch them up. But that's about it. The last thing you need are a couple of little quick uh, antennas and you are completed. So once everything was said and done, I realized there was just too much black going on around the body of my butterfly. So I came back in um, with one coat. I mean, I even touched up a bit more here with my teal, which was the color that I was using closest to the body on the base underneath the wing patterns. Go very little bit at a time. I mean, you can always go back with your black pen if you need. And just to bring the paint closer to the body, just a smidge, uh, just so it kind of defines where the body is and where the wing starts. And you can do this on both sides, anywhere you think you need to add it. Um, it might take a couple coats because you are going on top of black but add it slowly. You can always add more. It's easier to add more. Um, if you do get a little bit carried away, you can always come back with your black paint pen and uh, touch it up if you need. So I hope that this helps you if you're a beginner and you've been struggling trying to do butterflies. Uh, the more of these you do, the better you'll get, obviously, just like anything else you paint. Um, he's not symmetrically perfect, but I think it's very beautiful and I think anybody would be happy to find this rock. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. We'll see you soon with another uh, rock painting tutorial for beginners. Uh, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye-bye.